Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. My name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interleg, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. Thank you so very much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to try and get through this video without sneezing, coughing, and blowing my nose. Yes, indeedy, this girly has got sinus. I did take a, um, uh, what do you call it? Tylenol for sinus and allergies. So hopefully it's going to dry out a little bit. And hopefully I don't get tired. So, uh, if you're just new here, thank you and welcome. Um, as I said, my name is Ava and this is Stitching in the Interlake, which means I am stitching in the Interlake region of Manitoba in Canada, which is north of Winnipeg, compasses quite a chunk there. And, um, yeah, and right now, when I get up this morning, it was snowing a lot. And there's snow on the ground. Today, it's only supposed to get up to a high of minus one. Tomorrow, it's supposed to start getting warmer up to eight degrees. Please, Lord, bring it on. Bring it on. I am so tired. I am so tired of this cold and snow, you know. This is spring. It's not winter. It's spring. <laughs> Though I know that the farmers really appreciate all this moisture. But I'm not sure it's going to make a whole heck of a lot of beans. I'm not. Anyway, I am working on Mother Teresa. And this is what she looks like right there. I am not working on the background, okay? I don't need to work on the background. It's not necessary. I um, um, I like to um, I don't mind having a white background. Sorry. <laughs> It takes me a little bit sometimes to get my words together. Is that allergy related? I don't. Uh, not allergy related. Age related. Is that age related? I don't know. So. But this weather system here. It's supposed to be clearing out. And the snow is more towards the south of us. It doesn't look nice outside. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just tired of this. I, I want sunshine. I want heat. Now, I know some of you down south there, you say there that, oh, you'd rather have the cold than the heat. No, you don't. No, you don't. The only time that the cold is good and you can tolerate it is if you're sitting before a blazing fire under 10 blankets and snuggled up with a cup of hot cocoa or hot tea and yeah right now now this could be due to my cold too but I, um, I'm just chilled. I'm just chilled, chilled, chilled. And 
I'm just having a hard time ow, to um, keep warm. How is that? I think, no, okay, that's it. So right now I'm working here on all this green. And that color is 3033. So, and this design is part of the, well, is for me, the April challenge, which is hats off to April. And it doesn't matter what kind of hat, chapeau, hoot, toque, beanie, head covering, whatever it is. Um, yeah. So. Please always remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, because they really, that really helps my channel to grow. It really does. Yep. Oh. oh, I finished my book last night, The Puzzle Master. It didn't really end the way that I expected it to. And yet it kind of sort of did. There's somebody picking up somebody. Take them home. And um, so, yeah, it just, yeah, it did not, it did not go. It, it just didn't end the way that I thought. But then again, it did. So, I haven't found another audiobook yet to listen to. So, I will look for one. Because I usually listen to it in bed when I'm doing my journal writing and then when I'm playing my game. And I just, why does that look so, well, maybe it is. You know, these, these grays here almost look alike. And it's so hard to distinguish. You know, you can have just the tiniest shade different. I mean, that's kind of nice, but it's very... Um, you always think that you're... No, it is different. No, it is. So... But yeah, Oof. chilled. Uh, if you're just new here, uh, please remember there's the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. And please remember, you must, 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 capital M, Capital U, capital S, capital T, must 
give me the name of one of my two living sidekicks. Because if you don't answer the question, I'm sorry, I can't let you in. And that question is there so as to provide, it's a gatekeeper, right? To prevent just anybody coming in, right? So, I was going to go uptown again today, but no way, no way, no way, no way. Uh, no way. I'm hoping, I don't mean to blind you. I'm trying to hold that there because I know that there's a lot of people like myself who have photophobia. So just a reminder that there is no live this weekend. Okay. So, um, because Father Paul is coming and we have mass at noon. So I can't, like by the time it's done, sometimes Father Paul comes here and uh, he eats lunch with me. And, um, you know, it's, it just becomes too late. So, but next Sunday, there will be. We'll get back on to our, whatever it is, four Sundays. No, I think, yeah, I think it'll, no, it'll be. One Sunday here, and then two Sundays, so three Sunday. Yeah, sometimes it'll it will end up as being four Sundays that um, I have my live in a month. So, but it's it's usually I would say ninety nine point nine 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 percent. Um that we have mass on third Sundays. So it was Jonah Boy who um, woke me up this morning, sitting on my face and scratching my face. And he got up on top of the, the dresser and knocking stuff off and Anything to get my attention because he wanted to go out. And uh, so finally, I think it was just six o'clock. And I got up and put him out. It, normally he goes out at night. Um, but because it's been so cold and damp, I didn't want him outside. You know at night so yes oh I was going to ask you guys I know like Juliet's got an air fryer, and other people have got air fryers. And probably some of you have air fryers. And I'm wondering what that, um, how you like them. Do you use them all the time? I know she uses hers. But hers is a big one. It's got a rotisserie in there and all. Well, I don't need all that. Right? And I happen to be looking on Amazon and they have some. I, I read the reviews though too. And I don't need a big one. I just need 
enough for one person. Because it is just me here. But she says that they're good. I... Like, for the longest time, all they had were big ones, right? And I'm not spending $200 or $150 on one. No. But they do have them at Amazon. So I was looking there. And... Uh, and, of course, you know I'm vegan, so it wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't be cooking meat or fish or anything in there. But I am interested in one. I'm going to investigate a little further. Um, has, if, if you have an air fryer... Have you cooked potatoes in there? Like made a baked potato? She said that um, she makes corn and because that's what I look at, right? Is veggies. And does the air fryer make it crispy? Or does it just heat it? And like, what things can you cook in it? And what things you shouldn't? I know, I've heard it that Oh, you can bake in them and all. Well, I'm not interested in that. You know, uh, you know, like baking a cake or something. No, I'm not interested in that. But I'm just, I'm just wondering. As I was thinking there, I have these, uh, what do you call it, uh, like I have uh, fishless fish, and so I could make fish and chips, I could do, I have chicken strips and chicken nuggets, remember this is all vegan, right? I have hamburgers, but I'd like to know about a potato. Can you, can you actually, remember when microwaves came out? You could, could cook anything in there, right? Every little thing you could cook in there. And then... Yeah, now it kind of brings it down. Like Juliet was saying that she she doesn't like boiled wieners and doesn't like wieners made in the microwave. Well, I don't eat those kind of wieners. I eat veggie wieners and sausages. But she said making it in the air fryer is... Um, it, she likes the taste of it. But I've just been... I don't know. I've been kind of humming and hawing about one. and But they were all so big. And on the smaller ones, the... Um, 
reviews were not very good. So I thought, well, I think I looked at them like about six months ago or so. Then I forgot about them and then I kind of see, you know, that people have commented, you know, or, or told me that they um, they like these air fryers. So, so we'll see. I may just end up having one here. Yeah. One never knows. So I watched Erin Elizabeth Designs this morning. She posted a nice video. She's got some really nice things there. She's uh, doing these B cross-stitching. And I may do a challenge that's all about bees. I think maybe bees and hummingbirds, pollinators. So that can be dragonflies and butterflies and uh, bumblebees and honeybees and whatever other kind of bees. Um, I don't know what other kind of pollinators that there are, but yeah, but this, this, she had, I guess she had designed this one and it's really nice. And apparently what is it? Um, can't remember her name now. She's Cobweb. Cobweb Corner. Carla. Carla at Cobweb Corner. I went and looked and I couldn't find it anywhere. And it's probably way too expensive anyway, so... But, and she was showing how she had done, like it was by Paisleys and Polka Dots. They have all these frames and everything else, which are really nice. The only thing is, shipping it to Canada is just, it's cost prohibitive, right? And then with the exchange, very cost prohibitive. Very much so. So I, um, but you can use things from the dollar store or from thrift stores. You just gotta, like she showed something today that I thought was really good. I think she had the word lavender and she put it on the uh, side of a, I don't know, whatever it is, um, toolbox type of thing. Now, that got me thinking because I have a wooden toolbox. It's not very big. And it, I guess somebody had made it a while, quite a while ago because I've had it since I've lived in London. So a good six years, seven years and I picked this up at a thrift store. And, but it's red and green. And I'd like to maybe change that more to a neutral color. And then I can put things on there. Which is nice because I'd like to see it. I got a big toolbox now, so I don't need it. I think it has tools on there or whatever. 
Um, but I, I want to change that. And she, she uses crackle paint. And it really does look nice. It looks, I like it. So, that's a way to do double duty, right? And you can put anything on there. She had, I think it was lavender, and then she had all these fake lavender buds and flowers in there. But you can do something that says flowers or whatever. So, yeah, go and check out Erin uh, Elizabeth Designs. And I like a lot of her designs. I've got a few. Not a lot. I've got a few of them. And um, they're very nice. Very nice. Um, they're small, like they're not overwhelming. Not like long dog samplers and full coverage pieces, right? And she designed a uh, Biscorn U. It's all in um, like bees and honey and things like that, which I like too. So I see that Yorkshire Crafter posted a new video, so I'm going to watch hers. And then I'm going to, uh, tomorrow, uh, Garon Stitchery will have something. And they've only got one more week to go until their grand opening. Boy, I wish that I was close. I wish that I was close. Too far away. It would take me days to get there. Well, knowing me, I would drive, you know, probably it would take me two days. Because I'm one, when I drove, I would get up and, you know, I drive all day and get a hotel room and then drive the next day and get there. I guess that's the truck driver in me. So, but yeah, and I think tomorrow... Jen, the caffeinated stitcher, should be posting. And oh, I don't even know who else. I just, whatever comes on, comes on. Right? So. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, I got a huge knot here. Huge knot. You're not supposed to do this. Yeah, so, oh, I was going to say that my DBT class actually starts on the 7th of May. Starts on the 7th of May, which is a Tuesday. And it's just over a week, and I get Susie done. She's got to go into surgery and uh, get her rear axle seals done. So... Um, Oh my goodness. Look at look at that knot. 
<laughs> oh, it's starting to clear out. But the wind is strong. And of course, the there's snow that's blowing around. I don't think we've got any more snow that's falling, but yeah. I think I got it. I I think I got it. Come on. Come on. Yay! I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ah. So, um, I still ha uh, haven't figured out why my videos are slow to uploading. Yesterday's went faster. And I know the other day I had posted a video. And on my phone, it was still saying it was uploading. And I could not get that thing to go, you know, to stop doing that, right? And so... I thought the only way it looked like I could do that was to click delete. So I thought it was just going to be delete on my phone, but it deleted off my list of videos. So that video from the other day is gone. So if you're wondering, if you remember seeing it and it's not there, that's why. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. I'm so glad that, oh, it's drying up in here. I just hope I'm not going to get too tired. But that's helping. Yeah, that's good. And, of course, my asthma is um, acting up. So may you be happy, may you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes herself, Miss Lily Bell. She's down here. She's sleeping. I think I'm going to go and bring Jonah in. Um, I, I don't want him to catch a cold. And, um, and that. So, anyway, I guess that's it. So, um... I will see you tomorrow again, so we'll see. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for all your kind comments and your thumbs up. Make sure you share and share and share. Get me over that 800. <laughs> I want to get over 800. <laughs> I'm dancing around there and I can't. Yesterday, it had gone up to 799 again and then it dropped. So please make sure you are still subscribed. All right, my dears, I really do appreciate you and love each and every one of you. So we'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloodles, everybody.